Okay. In the heart of the reading, you had the Queen of Cups. This is speaking of somebody that's very loved up. Someone that is very nourishing. But this is also someone that is a water sign. Um, a, um, a Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer. Um, this could be you, though. This could be you feeling very much in love. Um, and, it's, and it's crossed by a new beginning. A new beginning that's uh, exciting. So you could be in love. And you could be feeling very intuitive. Um, going by your instincts. Um, and you have um, the Ace of Wands. Like an exciting beginning in front of you right now. Which is good. That's good. That's really cool. In your foundation, you have the Seven of Pentacles. So this is working, just is it working on, um, just working on everything. Still keeping, still doing, you know, your your hard work, but um, you're just, and you're also just waiting um, on what on the things that you can um, that you've manifested. You're trying to wait um, on things that you have put into place um, in regards to what you want, you know, what you've manifested. So this is just basically waiting on what you've manifested pretty much. And just, well, just by working, keeping things going, keep moving, uh, still do the things that it's annoying and frustrating. It's long and drawn out, but you are getting what you are going to get. You're getting what you want at the end. Um, see what's underneath this card is trying to slide out is the devil. A lot of signs today has been, from what I was doing today since I'm doing readings for everybody, um, for this for next week, uh, for this week, excuse me. Um, you guys are getting a lot of the devil. Could be something cosmically going on with everybody in regards to the devil card as well. Um, but in your present, you have the Nine of Pentacles. So this is feeling abundant and having independence. So feeling very independent at the moment. Um, most, uh, financially abundant. But you could also be feeling kind of lonely and single. In your <clears throat> in your future, though, you have the star. So this is they basically this is the sign for Aquarius, since the Queen of Swords is coming up in your reading. But it also speaks of healing, uh, hope, and manifesting. So to be so that time in the future, you'll be able to manifest. Okay, but this is waiting on something you're manifesting for, or you've manifested for already. Um, so really, like, just keep doing the tedious work that you're doing, and your work will come in, you know, you'll, you'll get your rewards. So, um, it's, just, it's speaking of hope and healing in the future, I think. Uh, what you, what is in your chronic energy is that you're dealing with temperance, so balancing of all things. This is kind of what you want to do to get what you want. Um, <clears throat> this also speaks of, um... Divine timing. So you're dealing with divine timing at the moment. Things are probably being very slow right now. But, you know, but the universe got you. It may be slow right now, but it's taking its, it's, taking its time and getting its things, getting things right for you. Um, and it's just taking care of you at the moment. So just kind of riding the wave at the moment. How you're feeling is the Queen of Pentacles. So if you're making money right now, you're working, you're doing things um, in regards to feeling more grounded and more solid in your life. So this is definitely speaking of some of it's definitely speaking of someone that's you know hardworking and everything. This is also a Taurus Virgo in Capricorn. So you could be um, feeling someone that's in your life right now, or this is something that's going on in your in your in your insights where you're thinking about someone that's a pen that's uh right another side or you guys could just be making money and being a pinnacle by basically working uh in your outside factor style you have the queen the page of swords so you are speaking your truth you're being you're either speak you know re uh, sending or receiving blunt communication 
Okay. Oh, this also could be spying. So you guys could be spying on somebody. You guys could be being pretty sneaky and spying on somebody. Because this is the spy card as well. But it could be also speaking of communication. Since you do have, again, the Queen of Swords in your underlying energy. Your hopes and fears is the Two of Cups. So you're hoping for a soulmate, soulmate connection. The Two of Cups speaks of soulmate connections. Or two people coming together. You're hoping probably to meet someone. Which is cool. I, I mean, that's a great something to hope for. I always hope for that. Okay? And... Um, in your outcome, you hope for things to pick up speed. You're hoping to balance moment, your heart and your head so that way you can get some momentum going. And you're hoping for victory. So who, who wouldn't hope for some victory, right? Um, but that's in your outcome. Your outcome is, has victory in it. Your outcome has um, balance in it and fast movement, things picking up speed. Let's go ahead and get some clarifiers in here now. Clarify the Queen of Swords. I usually don't um, clarify the underlying energy if it's um, if it's clear, but I just want to be sure. You know, nothing wrong with being sure. What is the Queen of Swords? What, what, what is the clarifiers in regards to the Queen of Swords and the underlying energy? Balance. The Six of Pentacles. So this is in regards to the balance. So maybe you want balance through speaking your truth. Okay. Maybe the balance is with you speaking your truth, maybe, even. Okay, let's clarify the Queen of Cups. <clears throat> Judgment. So this speaks of uh, Phoenix rising from the ashes. New beginnings, second chances. So things happening again. It could be a totally different situation, but having the same kind of feel to it, if you know what I mean. Like giving you a second chance to do something that you couldn't have done in a similar situation. Um, so... You could be feeling like you could be feeling intuitive again. You could be feeling yourself again, or you could be dealing with somebody that coming that came back from the past, as if as um, the Queen of Cups. So somebody, so the Queen of Cups, basically have, making her return, whether it be a Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer, she's making her return. Um, let's clarify the Ace of Wands because it's crossed by the Ace of Wands. It's a new beginning. Is an exciting beginning, um, but these five of swords came out flying out. Okay, basically, I think that means that this is a new beginning, but is lacking emotional fulfillment, an emotional kind of justice. So maybe this is something new and creative. But it won't have that extra, that, that emotional stuff. Huh, it's interesting. Let me pull one more card. It's like, basically it's telling me that it's, it's a situation coming up again where you're, you're feeling lo in love. Or you're feeling um, very caring and loving at the moment. But this new beginning that is supposed to bring excitement is it going to be bringing excitement. Please uh, get one more card for the Ace of Wands. 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 Okay. Hmm, Queen of Pentacles. So maybe this is a new beginning, but it's not very very exciting because you're working. Or maybe it's regarding somebody that's, that's very grounded, very hardworking, because you do have the Queen of Pentacles in your feelings. And we said it was you feeling maybe for, like you're working a lot. So maybe this is in regards to somebody that's, that's working. Um... 
or someone that's very solid in grounding. Um, shoot, but it's like, so it's like a new beginning that's, that's not emotionally rewarding. And it's regarding the Queen of Pentacles. So man, that's a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn. Okay. That sucks. What? That's crazy. Alright, what's the foundation? What is the Seven of Pentacles? What is the Seven of Pentacles? In the foundation. What is the Seven of Pentacles in the foundation? Where is the Seven of Pentacles in the foundation? <clears throat> the magician. So having your so manifesting. Aha. So yes. So you're working on what on um, your rewards. So you've manifested. You're just working at it to get those rewards. The man, magician is all about. Um, the magician is all about communication. Preparation, being, be having power and ready, um, feeling good within yourself. Like, not really feeling good, but knowing that you have everything that you need to keep going, to do things, to do whatever you want, is also manifesting. It's the manifestation card as well. So, so you guys have, like, you've manifested, you're working towards it, you're just waiting for your reward. So, this is in regards to something. That you're waiting rewards on. Your rewards on. So right now you're feeling independent or the next pentacles. What is that referring to? Ace of Wands. What's well, crossing you? So So you're feeling financially abundant based off of a new project, a new beginning, something a new beginning that has a spark of passion and excitement to it. Huh, it's interesting. So, huh, maybe what it's saying here is that there, this new beginning that you, that's crossing the Queen of Cups is basically that it's a redo from a situation in the past that wasn't very emotionally fulfilling, that you got, you know, you've you had victory, but it wasn't, you didn't feel emotionally victorious. This could be somebody that's coming back in the past. That you have a second chance at, and you're starting from a very solid base now. As the you could be the Queen of Pentacles, or that person could be the Queen of Pentacles. Okay. What is the star in the future? Star in the future. Star in the future. Star in the future. Star in the future. A hermit. So going, this is about going off on your own and soul searching. It's about finding the answers because you have the power within yourself to find those answers. Um, so this could be going off on alone, going off alone, looking for, looking for something um, on your own. So this is probably this is probably speaking of healing, self healing, healing a spirit on a spiritual level. You guys are healing. Possibly from this new beginning. But it's about going off alone. This is about your healing. What is the crowning energy? The temperance. Crowning energy, temperance. Crowning energy, temperance. What is this? What is it in the crowning energy? Energy. New beginning. So divine timing is going to bring you a new beginning, and that's what you're dealing with. Divine timing, in regards to your to the new beginning. The fool represents new beginnings, uh, taking a, a, a leap of faith. So maybe what you have to do to start your new beginning is to take a leap of faith, have trust. Because that's what the fool is about too. Trusting. 
It's a night. He's very naive, as you see. He's fucking about to go off the edge of a cliff. But his true nature, his na is his innocence, is what's gonna get him to is is the beginning, because he has so much to learn. So the bad time you eat it is gonna bring you a new beginning, and what's gonna possibly help you get to that new beginning is to trust. What, uh, the Queen of Pentacles clarify feelings. What is that? Let's get that, let's get that clarified. <clears throat> Aha! Ace of Swords. That's a good card to get. So you're feeling like you have a, you're seeing things from a new perspective. Um, you have new beginnings. Um, a new ideas. It's a, it's a victory card as well. So you're probably fi feeling very victorious at the moment. Feel like um, there's some tr like you're cutting away at the truth at the moment. Like you have um, a new way of communicating, but it's also speaking of some truth. It's victory as well. Like I said, it's speaking of when you saw the crown and everything. Page source, please, and the outcome. So maybe you're taking action by speaking your truth in the outside factors. Well, because if you see the three of wands is about, because he's waiting for his ships to come in, but they've come back. And he's just waiting. As soon as they come back, well, they, they haven't come back. Maybe they're being sent off. But he's waiting for them to come back. And once they do come back, he's going to be taking action to get um, based off of whatever his ships come back with. So this could be about taking action in regards to some truth, some blunt communication. So this is, could be you guys speaking your truth right now and taking action upon that truth. Or if somebody actively spying on you, or you actively spying on someone else. But I think it's you guys speaking the truth. This is probably what's making it different this time. This is what's making it exciting, because before you guys weren't speaking your truth, and now you are. The two of cuffs. It was what you're hoping for. It's the beginning of a, uh, the end of a cycle and the beginning of a new. So you're hoping for a brand new cycle to start over. Um, <clears throat> a successful completion in regards to two people coming together. So some sort of soulmate connection. You're hoping for it. And let's see the outcome. Try it. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm so sorry. Clarify the chariot and outcome, please. Clarify the chariot and the outcome. Clarify the chariot and the outcome, please. Clarify the chariot and the outcome. Clarify. Oof. Clarify the chariot and the outcome. Clarify the chariot and the outcome. Clarify the chariot and the outcome. Ooh, that's me. Clarify the chariot and the outcome. Clarify the chariot and the outcome. Seven of Wands. So standing your ground. Defensive. That's a defensive energy, guys. So, um, the victory is in regards to standing. Do you standing your ground? Being defensive, knowing where you stand and stuff. That's pretty cool. Whoever came back from your past, guys, don't let up. Be honest. Be yourself. Be very good at with communicating. Speak your truth. Stand your ground. That's what the outcome is looking like. Victory in regards to standing your ground. And underneath that, you have the three of wands. Sorry, the two of wands. So it's picking... And trying is being stuck at a crossroads. Figure out which way you want to go. Where you want to go in life. Where you want to go in this relationship, in this in this love life. Very interesting, guys. Very interesting. Let's go ahead and pull some romance angels as I as I summarize the rapid reading as an overview. 
Um, so this new beginning with someone that um, is a Scorpio Pisces Cancer. Um, to somebody it's like it definitely it's a second chance kind of thing. Someone it could be a, it could be the same situation. Someone comes from the past could be your ex. It could be somebody else that's giving you a second chance to start over. It's like a second chance, and it's a new beginning um, that you can that this new exciting new beginning based off of possibly the last relationship not being so emotionally fulfilling, ending in kind of feels like everybody losing kind of situation. And you feel more grounded in this one. Um, now in your foundation, you have the Seven of Pentacles, which is you're working for your rewards right now. You're working hard for your rewards. Um, and it's basically you have everything you need. You're just working towards it. Um, in your present, though, you're feeling more independent, more financially abundant, um, based off of the new, based off of the, the exciting new beginning. Um... It's just the Ace of Wands being clarified by the Nine of Pentacles. In your future, though, you have healing. Um, it's about, but definitely something regarding about you. Definitely something regarding you guys. Um, it's stepping out on the world on your own and taking, taking that healing out, you know? And just doing it for yourself. And you're having hope, you know, as you get that out there and looking for answers within yourself. It's a soul searching. It's a soul um, spiritual um, card for you guys too. In your crowding energy, <coughs> you have uh, temperance and the fool. So this is temperance and divine timing, working in motion, the fool. And you have to be trusting. You have to trust. Okay? You have to have, you have to be open. You have to have trust. You have to take a leap of faith. Um, but this is temperance in regard, like trying to get your new beginning started. Um, that's what you're having to deal with anyway. In your feelings, you have the Queen of Pentacles, so you're working hard, but you're starting um, a new way of communicating. You have new ideas. Um, so this is someone that's very grounded in their feelings and how they feel, and with new ideas, new perspective. I think it's you guys, but it could be somebody. It could be um, a Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and that you're feeling right now, that you're with, that you, but you have a new way of communicating with that person. You have a new way of dealing with it. Have you speaking your truth? And you, but or you or you could feel victorious in regards to that. Um, the Page of Swords is taking um qualified by the Three of Wands in your outcome. I uh, sorry, outside factors. You're speaking your truth. You're taking action in regards to some truth. Um, th that you could be speaking or someone else could be speaking. Um, it's definitely some action-oriented stuff in here. In your hopes and fears, you hope that you meet somebody or you have a soulmate connection. That's the uh, that uh, that um, that um, that has a successful completion. That's like you feel successfully complete with that with the two of cups two of that something like that. Or it could lead to the ending of the cycle of you being by yourself, being single, being independent, and that sort. And you just being working as a cup, as a team, you know? That's what a relationship is all about, teamwork. And then in, in your outcome, you have victory and standing your ground. So there's victory and standing your ground. So being true to yourself is it's victorious. Being defensive, like not maybe being defensive, just being, be honest, um, not backing down. It's an uncompromising energy, <clears throat> so you you you'll see victory in that, and it's also you'll get balance. Like you have to have balance too, which will push you to motivation, like push you, that'll push things to go faster. So you'll, there's a lot going on for you all. A lot going on. The Romance Angels card that fell out for you is uh, for yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. So this is definitely something about you guys. I'm going to go ahead and pull a Wisdom Oracle card for you all.
card here is Deep Knowing. Deep Knowing, and that's 43. I'm gonna go ahead and read the Oracle Mess for that. And it came right out as soon as I opened it. Easy. Wow. So the, we're gonna read the essential meanings. It's intuition, listening to the Oracle within, empathy, super, uh, hypersensitivity. Um, the Oracle Message. Intuition is the f uh, faculty that allows you to enter into a dialogue with Source, the consciousness that are that you are a part of, but cannot see with the naked eye. It's perplexed. I'm sorry, it's perplexed. Perplex, ah, excuse me. It's perplexing that people are taught to ignore this natural capacity to navigate their journeys, to access their inner guidance. Know that you have an ability to read through the lines and find all the truth that was missing when the story was told. This deep knowing allows you oh, allows you to open the door to wisdom far greater than what is available in the limitations of human experience. You're given information that may sense make uh, sorry, you're you're given um, information that may make no sense whatsoever to the logical logical mind or five senses, but which is what well, which is one hundred percent true and correct. The trick is to listen and then to create a, so and then to act accordingly. You're now um you're now invited into this sacred dialogue of deep knowing. So tune in and trust your vibes. They will be right as they will be right. Um, ask and you will receive answers from unknown sources. Now the relationship message. There are opportunities where you just know deep in your heart and soul that someone is going to play a meaningful role in your life. Someone crosses your path and suddenly out of the, out of the blue you're connected at a level impossible to describe. That feeling marks a moment in, in uh, time etched indebly sorry, indibly into your soul. Someone has entered your life who will be instrumentally in your journey. Who, sorry, who will be instrumental in your journey. So pay attention. Two hearts are calling to each other to begin an all, all sorry, an alchemically process, an alchemical pro process, excuse me. This is also a sign that your intuition about the person you care about is correct. Trust your heart to lead you now. Magic is about to happen. Wow, that's beautiful. So trust your intuition, guys. That's what the hermit is in the future. That's what you're going to be using in the future. And why I said about trust is definitely using that intuition. Tune in because you know the truth. Speak your truth. Be honest with yourself. And be tr yeah, just be true to yourself. And that's what we'll do. that's. I think that will get you your victory. But Everybody has free will. Everybody needs to do what they need to do. Everything is in your control. And you have the, the power to change your outcome.